What's up everyone, GTA King here, back with another GTA 5 video. This is a facility gift cards to friend glitch that's working on all platforms. So this works on the old version of GTA and new version of GTA. So this works on PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and it works on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. We are on the Xbox Series X and S version right now. This is GTA uh, Online for Expanded and Enhanced. So this is for new gen GTA that we're on right now. But this does work on all forms of GTA on all consoles. So what you're going to need is a facility that is full. A friend inside your lobby to pass you their car that you want to receive. You will need a full facility and you need to have street cars in there. It has no insurance on it, but you want to make sure you have cars that are from the street that has no insurance, like AI cars, just take them from the AIs in the game, put them inside your facility. And you want to have at least one street car for every vehicle that you are going to receive. As long as you have one street car in there for every vehicle you are going to receive. Now you will have to glitch out every single time you receive a car, you will have to re-glitch out. Once you have that set up, you want to make your way inside the casino. So we have our street car out, you can call it out on the map or you can drive it from your facility to the casino. But however you want that street car from your facility at the casino with you. So we're going to go inside the casino on the casino level. And I'm going to show you all some settings and stuff you will need inside the game to be able to do this glitch. So you want to make your way over here to the desk where Tom Connors is at. You want to press right on D-pad. Go down to aircrafts. And any of these aircrafts that are on this list, you want to own at least one of them. If you own more than one of them, that's great. But as long as you own one that is not grayed out, any of these on this list. If you don't own any of them, just pull up your phone inside the game. Go to the website. And go to travel and transport. And go to where you purchase aircrafts inside the game. And... Purchase any of those aircrafts that are on that list. Once you do so, you want to open up your pause menu and make sure you have the following game settings. You want to go pause menu, online, options. You want to go down to matchmaking, set it to closed. You want to allow spectators to off. Join next mode from spectators to, or box to don't join. Then you want to go over to the settings tab inside your pause menu. So you're just going to tab over. And you want to go down to display. And you want to set your graphics mode to fidelity. Now if you're on old gen GTA you should already be on fidelity. Unless you changed it to something else. But now on New Gen GTA, you do have to make sure you set it to Fidelity. Most glitches do work when your game are on Fidelity. It's easier to hit it. From there, you want to make your way outside the casino. And you want to grab you some stick sticky bombs. If you don't own any sticky bombs, you can go to your interactions menu. Inventory. And you can go to ammo and you can purchase them there or you can go to the gun store in the game and get you some sticky bombs but we already have our sticky bombs so we're just going to open up our weapons wheel and we're going to choose our sticky bombs and we want to place them on the car our street car from our facility so we're just going to place them on the Street car, I'm going to place two on here, but you can only place one if you want to, or you can place more than one, however many sticky bombs you want to place. 
From there, you'll just make your way inside your casino penthouse. But I'm going to show y'all that you can use your friend's casino penthouse house to be able to do this glitch. So we're just going to wait for his penthouse invite. Now we got his penthouse invite. We're just going to pull it up and accept it all the way through. Now you will need to own the certain room inside your penthouse and your friend will need to own the certain room also inside his penthouse. So the pen room that I just walked into where your dealer table is at, you will need to own this room to be able to do the glitch. So as long as your friend owns that, you can use his penthouse. So once he owns that, you're good to go. So from there, you just want to make your way over to the phone. And you want to get that option in the top left-hand corner to press run D-pad to pick up the phone, but you don't want to press it. From there, you want your friend to go inside and tighten up a job. So you're just going to open up your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play a job, rockstar, create it, missions, and tighten up a job. When you're in the job, they're going to send you an invite, and you accept their invite. And you want to get on this alert here, on the first alert, and you want them to back out. And then once they back out, they tell you. So now that you've backed out, if you're on Xbox, you want to press right on D-pad and A at the same time. PlayStation, right on D-pad and X at the same time. And so remember that. Right on D-pad, X for PlayStation, right on D-pad, A for Xbox. And then you want to press A on Xbox on the second alert, then X on PlayStation for the second alert. And then you want to open up your interactions menu as your character is going to pick up the phone. So I'm going to press Front on D-pad and A at the same time now. Then I'm going to press A again. And then we're going to open up our interactions menu as our character is picking up the phone. If your character is not picking up the phone, then you didn't hit it right and you will have to redo this part over again. From there, you just want to scroll up and down in this menu to where you only have your interactions menu. This can take a little bit. You can use your down D-pad or you can use your left joysticks or you can use both. But you just don't want to press left on D-pad because you will stuff off your sticky bombs. So make sure you don't.
So now we only have our interactions menu and we no longer have the other menu. So now we just want to back out of our interactions menu, walk up to the door and want to hit casino, walk away from the door and we want to hit exit penthouse. Now because we already have our vehicle out on the map with the sticky bombs on it, we want to walk inside the casino, hit casino. Now if you fall through the map, you're good. If you load inside the casino, you're good. But now if you get stuck on the infinite black screen, you will have to restart your game. So we did load inside the casino. So our friend just wants to make his way outside his penthouse and get out his phantom wedge so he can flip us over at the facility. We're just going to grab an aircraft that we own from that list that I showed you earlier and we just want to land inside the casino parking lot if you do die you will have to restart your game and re-glitch out all over again so do not jump out of the helicopter unless you know you have a parachute and you know how to open it So I'm just going to land right here very carefully in the street so I do not die or nothing. And I'm going to hop out of the helicopter and I'm going to walk away from it. From there I'm just going to grab a street car from the street because I don't want to use the one from my, that's at my casino. Because I need to leave it there with the sticky bombs on it so I just want to get some as a flat roof. Now my friend will have to return his vehicle to storage so he can call out his phantom wedge so he can flip you. So I'm just going to grab something that's going to be small and light and it's going to be easy for my friend to flip. You don't want to grab nothing like an SUV or nothing big because it will take a little timing. So I'm just going to look for a flat roof street car. I don't want to use that fan because it's a little bit high. So I'm going to look for a car like this. So this will be good enough. Then I want to make my way to the facility. So I own the facility that's behind the casino. And my friend just wants to go up there with his phantom wedge to be able to flip me outside the facility. The reason why I say to use this facility is if you're receiving more than one car, you don't have a long drive back to the casino to re-glitch out again. Remember guys, do not press that left on D-pad. You don't need to yet. If you press it too soon, it will not work for you. So we're almost there to the facility. I'm going to wait on my friend to get there if he's not there yet. Before we continue on with the next part of the glitch. So he is here, he has his phantom wedge. So you see where my yellow halo is at? You want to park your car sideways on that yellow halo. So before we do so, we're going to open up our interactions menu so we don't get on that alert just yet. And we want to face our car the other way. And we want to pull up to the facility just like so and park the car just about right there. And we want to close our interactions menu get on that full screen work. So I'm going to close my interactions menu in 3, 2, 1. Now I'm on that full screen alert. Now you want to wait for your friend to flip you. you know, and he wants to make sure you're on your side or on your roof. Once he do so, he can message you and let you know when you're flipped. Or he can honk his horn to let you know when you're flipped. So now that we're flipped, we're going to press A. And now, because I'm too close to the yellow dot, so I don't get sucked inside my facility when I get out, I'm going to hold my 
interactions menu to open it. So I'm open my interactions menu and I'm press Y to get out of the car. When I get out, I'm going to walk away from my facility. Now the reason why I open my interactions menu is because I do not want to get stuck inside my facility when I got out of the car. Now I'm away from it. I'm going to close my interactions menu and this is where I can press left on D-pad to blow up my car. From there, my friend wants to park the car that he's given me on my yellow halo. So he's going to have to move that car out of the way. He's going to have to keep ramming, to, ramming it until he's out of the way. Now, he did have the same facility as me. So he did get stuck inside his facility. He just needs to come out. But this time, um, when he comes out, he wants to make sure he opens up the interactions menu so it doesn't get sucked in. And... But that is okay. Hey, that does happen. But he wants to make sure. Now, sometimes you will get cops on you when you blow up your street car. So you will have to register as a CEO while you're waiting for your friend to park the car. And you want to just remove. You just want to do bribe authorities to get cops off of you. So it's best if he has the interactions menu open and gets out of the car so he does not get sucked in. From there you want to make your way over to his car and get in. If he parked it just right you'll get sucked inside your facility. If not you will have to glitch out all over again. So he did park it right on the yellow halo. It's going to suck me in and then it's going to ask me to choose a car to get rid of. But we're going to press B one time and A one time. Because we're not going to actually swap the vehicles. Because this vehicle will already be in there. The reason why we had no insurance on that street car. So it's not in our Morse Mutual. So now we're going to press B. A. B A on Xbox. Can we don't want to swap the vehicles. And I will show you up here. That I still have the vehicle my friend just gave me. Plus, I will have the, my friend will still have his vehicle. I'll walk outside and show you. Now, I can't drive this vehicle out right now because I did not restart my game. Because if I do drive it out, it will break up on me and it will kick me out of the car. But I will walk outside and I will show you that he still has his vehicle. Now if I am receiving their vehicle, I will just take my next street car from my facility. Make my way back to the casino. And I will re-glitch out all over again. But if this is the only car you're receiving, you would just change your character's outfit. Force a game save. Restart your game. Then you'll be good to go to drive it anywhere you want to in the game. The car you just received from your friend. So as you see, my friend still has this car. He did not lose it. It just made an exact copy. So if y'all enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out. And I am gone.